Georgia Tech got an upset win. Uh, we we got to talk about it a little bit. I mean, just <laughs> we we got to hit on it, right? Um, Georgia Tech twenty six, Pitt twenty one, and cheers to Brent Key. Uh, he got this team to wake up. I was excited about this, very excited. They shocked Pitt, who could not even score the spread that they were favored by. Let's go on and pull up the uh, the win probability, expected points, and all that. Again, this is over a game on paper, but uh, it, they won third downs, twenty nine to seventeen percent. Georgia Tech outrushed Pitt two thirty six to one hundred five. They ran for two hundred thirty six yards against that defensive line. Um, they won turnovers three to nothing. Pitt won the yardage four eleven to three thirty eight, and they won yards per play five point four to four point eight. A lot of this for Pitt came really late because Georgia Tech led nineteen to seven with two minutes to go in the ball game. Like Pitt found a way to make this thing relatively close. Um, I this was always there with Georgia Tech. Uh, eighty two Atlantic, by the way, jumps in. Is Pitt losing at home to a horrible Georgia Tech team the worst loss of the week? Yeah, probably. I, I, it would have to be right, uh, unless you're in New Mexico State and you lost to Florida International. But <laughs> you know, you lose to FIU. That's pretty bad. Uh, but if you're if you're Georgia Tech, you always had this. You had some dudes. You had the ability to get this done. Like whenever we have these kind of what I hate to use the term dead cat bounces. Whenever you have something along those lines, uh, it makes you immediately wonder like was the right guy leading this program? And I I don't want to say no, but they seem to really fight for Brinky, right? Like, I'm, I'm so happy for him because he, like, you could tell after the game, he was very emotional. This program has been through a lot. The AD is now gone. Jeff Collins is gone, the head coach as well. Uh, it's It was just rough. And for them to go on the road, uh, I saw a stat that this is their first road win over an AP-ranked team since 2016. That was over Virginia Tech back then. It's been really difficult times for Georgia Tech. So this was a lot of fun to see them actually get this Get this win. I mean, that, that was that was awesome to see. So props to them for going up and getting the job done, holding on at the end, finding a way to make it happen. Cheers to them. Cheers to them. I, I loved watching that at the end of that ballgame. Uh, so happy for Georgia Tech. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.